Howdy folks, how are you all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Let's Play Adventure, where I have a fresh bowl, not a bowl, it's not a bowl, it's a cup, it's a small plastic ninja cup full of uh, honey milk, and I've already drank half of it and we just started recording Xenoblade Chronicles 3, the Let's Play Adventure extravaganza of awesomeness and fun times to be had in the wonderful world of Ionios, where we're picking up where we left off last time. Oh boy, can we survive that drop. You know what? I bet if we take it in stages, we can. We just got to get to this little edge here. That's not an edge. That's a drop straight to our near death, but we did survive it because we are that incredible. Last time when we were playing this game, we stumbled upon the final, I guess, quest in Doric's quest line, which has been ongoing for a year now, it feels like. At least since the last time we visited Colin, or not since the last time, the first time, it feels like. Really, the, the first day you meet Valdi. You're starting Dork's quest line, and it's finally done. The big fella has finally been constructed, and it looks like he's facing off against an Agnian, but he's not supposed to be a weapon. He's supposed to be like a great big friend. Talk with the specified characters. Repapa. Are they running into some kind of issue here? Have these Agnians come to fight him? I mean, I, we kind of just stumbled into this. I'd forgotten all about Dork's quest. I thought we'd already completed it. I'm thinking now it might have been tied to Alexandria's ascension in some way. Uh, we're about to find out. Maybe the Agnians have agreed to send some Levenesses over here for some kind of a time. I don't know what the situation is, but this fella's here. What's his name? Like Gerber? Gerber? Something like that? G G Jerumbo? He yeah, so that makes sense. So I guess because he came over here as part of her Ascension quest, uh, Al Alexandria's Ascension quest, it makes sense that we had to get that finished before we could wrap up with Doric. So it's all coming together. All the pieces of the puzzle are finally fitting neatly. What a magnificent beast. Whoa! It's amazing when you really look at it. Rip Pepper show more big surprise things. Mecha friend, start Doric. Test is begin. Buddy Blaster Fire! But he's not supposed to be a weapon, is he? Isn't he supposed to be like a shield? Yeah. To protect everyone. What the? Did he just attack those Levenesses? What Doric possesses is not a regular running the mill weapon. It is also a high frequency device to access Autolev control system. Small word version? Doric can make friends with Levenesses. You see, the way it works is by applying RoboBuddy's data to interface with the ether signaling. So yeah, it's a continuation of RoboBuddy and all that. I'll just assume that's something clever. Correct! <laughs> There's such a pause there. <laughs> to turn around and just shout that. This laser was made with the intention of altering the ether signaling circuits of autolabs. But when they read our iris data they saw us as allies challenging the system means you can rewrite the aggression program so if you take mecha friend's signal do you get it This is a riveting cutscene. Meh? Um, hmm, I don't think it's gone in. It not seem usable in combat. Meh, it only work with one nearby Levness. Is distance problem or number of target? Have to research. So I guess we're not done with Doric. He is huge though. Info acquired, a Buddy Blaster Blunder. Well, that's fun. What a fun title. A Buddy Blaster bun, bl bl Blunder. Buddy, blas bl Buddy Blaster... You gotta say it three times fast. That's the challenge. All right, you ready? Buddy Blaster Bun... <sighs> bu <sighs> Buddy Blaster Blunder. Buddy... Okay, if I read it, maybe that'll help. Three times fast. Ready? Buddy Blaster Blunder. Buddy Blaster Bundle. Buddy Blaster Blunder. Buddy Blaster Bun... Oh, gosh, I keep wanting to say bun Bundle. This is not- I can do Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers. That's easy. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Absolutely. Buddy Blaster Blunder. 
not so much. Buddy Blaster Blunder. If I say it in like a weird voice or very intentionally, Buddy Blaster Blunder, Buddy Blaster Blunder, Buddy Blaster Blunder, Buddy Blaster Blunder, Buddy Blaster Blunder. That was five times. I could probably do it quickly if I kept doing that weirdo voice. Buddy Blaster Blunder, Buddy Blaster Blunder, Buddy Blaster Blunder. It's easy if you do like some sort of real intentioned version of speaking, but just in my normal voice, Buddy Blaster, Buddy Blaster Blunder, Buddy, ba Buddy, Buddy Blaster Blunder, Buddy Bla This is this has got to be the most irritating thing you've ever heard. If you want to click off the video now, I completely understand. I am going to give it another go through here, though. I'm going to try one more time. Buddy Blaster Blunder, Buddy Blaster Blunder, Buddy Bat. I end up saying like a bad word here if I'm not careful. Not a bad word. No word is inherently bad, no matter what people might tell you. It's just offensive to individuals. So I might say a word that might be considered offensive to the YouTube algorithms, you know what I mean? Or like 90s Christian moms. But it, it just means someone, son, born born out of like wedlock, right? Like it's, it's not the worst word in the world. <laughs> Buddy! <laughs> We've made it all the way to the canteen! <laughs> But I still can't do it. Can it's fine. Comment down below. <laughs> Just write three times in a row. Buddy Blaster Blunder. <laughs> Just type it three times in a row as a comment. You gosh dang knucklehawkses. Alright, let's go ahead and discuss the situation. Uh, Buddy Blaster Blunder. Story is so, ch uh, Chief, how do you think we can improve the Buddy Blaster? That outside area of expertise of Riku. Oh, if you can't help, who can I ask? I guess a mechanic who knows a lot about a lot of stuff? You could always bring it to Colony Lambda's engineering core. Varen could probably give some useful insights. What about the people in the city? They've got a lot of technology we don't have. Maybe Mr. Salmon could help. The folks over at Colony Iota could be useful and all. There was that time we had the irises meddled with, and our authorization revoked. By Salazar, yeah? That was a wild ride! Oh yeah, plenty of options then. Let's go and consult with some of these people then. Let's get on the road, chief! Meh! Are we, are we going to all three of these people, or do we just choose one? Because sometimes the game gives you the opportunity to choose which course you wish to follow. Uh, talk with the specified characters, not with one of the specified characters, the specified characters. So it looks like we're talking to Saman, Varen, and Salazar, and I suppose because he's the closest, we'll start with Salazar. Now, some of you may remember Salazar. Uh, he is the one who founded Slytherin House, and it's his monster that is actually in the Chamber of Secrets. So, which is inside, well, I guess I don't want to spoil the story. Uh, I guess I already have, though. The Chamber of Secrets is real, and there is a monster. It's a basilisk, which I think is you take a toad egg and hatch it under a chicken, or the other way around, chicken egg under a toad. Uh, when you look, when you play RuneScape, a basilisk isn't a giant uh, snake. It's like this weird thing that crawls around on the ground. Also, the entrance to the Chamber of the Secrets is in a girl's bathroom, and Snape kills Dumbledore. This is Salazar here. Buddy Blaster? <laughs> now that sounds like my idea of a good time. Buddy, that's... That sounds... That sounds kind of perverse. I don't know about that. Is it? Fancy joining forces on it? Meep. I... <laughs> what is he meep? What, what is this guy? Meep. <laughs> we are the sellers house who say meep. Or maybe he's like a, um... A Koopo? Not a Koopo. That's what they say. A no... Uh, what are they called? Ah, what? Koopo. You know what they're called. Koopo's what they say. Koopo is a word. Moogles! Maybe this fella's a moogle. Because they say meep as well, don't they? Or am I completely imagining that? I suppose that's possible. I would, but I'm uh, in the middle of some pretty delicate research right now. Ho oh, ho! But you can have this instead of me. Salazar's special ration is distilled with the hopes and dreams of every soldier. I like to call it... Valdi, we're leaving. Did that go over my head? Was there some kind of implication there? What? I'm a little, I'm a little grossed out now, and I don't know why. Oh my gosh! I think in the last video I started talking about how I don't play Switch games we much anymore, and then I just never picked that thread yeah, back up. What makes those Agni and Levnuses tick? Wow, the Levnuses around here sure are a lively bunch. So they take good care of them. The mechanics now, this... really take pride in their work is an interesting concept for a weapon. 
isn't it though? Let's work on it together! I'm definitely intrigued, and I'd love to collaborate with you in this, but I'm rammed with work right now. Please pick a different choice of words. I thought it was going to be because the bureaucracy won't allow it. We'll have to submit some paperwork, there'll have to be some like discussions, a committee will need to be formed to discuss whether or not the discussions can continue. After that, a committee will need to be formed by that committee in order to handle the discussions, and after the discussions, paperwork will need to be put through. Bureauc bureauc bureaucracy! <sighs> oh, shame! Maybe next time, then. All the best with it, mate. Well, that was a waste of my time, wasn't it? Just like bureaucracies waste our time and our tax dollars. Maybe we'll find Mr. Salmon over at maintenance. Oh, I know exactly where we're gonna find we're going Mr. Salmon. That's like Levna Central. Listen, Valdi, you're gonna love this guy, okay? And look at this. There's actually such an assortment of clever, crafty Nopon here. Like Vald this is Valdi's dream. I feel like if we let him, he would just stay here and never go back to his colony. Well, no, he'd miss his love night after a while, wouldn't he? Salmon C! You want to- Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's not how Salmon sounds, is it? He's He told- You want to improve practicality of Buddy Blaster thingamajig. Can you do it? Salmon not able to say it without seeing real thing. Okay, I'll bring the Buddy Blaster here. It very large, Salmon assume, would be difficult to bring. But Salmon too busy for visit to Colony 30. Ooh, how about this? Salmon lends you friend of Salmon. Chano can be help for you. Can find Chano in Estelle Harbor. Salmon will send informations. I'm sorry, where? Why is this why is this quest become just a constant back and forth? I mean I suppose we could take this transport, but where is the transport gonna drop us off relative to where we actually need to be? Oh no, that's just Chano. Is that Chano we're looking at right here? I mean this is Estelle Harbor. I was assuming that would be somewhere for some reason in the Cadencia region. Wait! Yo! Ah, it's you. I heard the whole story from Salmon. So, you can help me improve the Buddy Blaster? But of course, I haven't been able to do anything like this in ages. Should be a lot of fun. Going by what I heard, I'd say the problem is the structure of the weapon. The laser diffuses quite a bit. What if we concentrate the beam? If you have a dowdy armor kernel and a gloss reactor, I can make some adjustments. Okay, I'll get those for you. I like that enthusiasm. I'll go ahead to Colony 30. Oof, my back. Are you okay? Doesn't get old and make it harder to move. Look after yourself. Aren't you a dear? My son's a Levinus pilot, so don't worry. He'll drop me off. I'll see you all later then. Do you reckon this is someone that Salmon's been friends with since they were young. Not since Salmon was young, but since this individual was young. So, like, Sam, like, is no pun age very slowly. Is Salmon a human, like, relatively speaking, and this person is sort of like a, a dog? Not like they're, not, I'm not saying they're a dog. What I'm saying is, like, you know what I mean? How you can have many dogs throughout the course of your lifetime? Does that, <laughs> is what I'm saying making sense? Also, is this gonna, like, put me down there? Because I kind of need to be up here. What's the closest thing to here? We might as well just go back to the entrance of Colony 30 at this point. Okay, so like, you can get a dog as a puppy, and you can get it, you can be like a young man, and even like a long-lived dog, that dog's gonna die when you're like, maybe that dog gets 10 years, 15 years, and then you can get another dog, right? Or are you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you live so long, but that dog's your friend. And you're friends with that dog, and that dog like loves you. Is it is it sort of similar for Nopon who have human friends? Where it's like, I love you, we're good friends, but I'm going to outlive you and your children and your grandchildren. I mean, like, do you think they're like no pawn for whom a human family is like, oh, that's a family friend. And when they say family friend, they mean no, literally, he was friends with grandpa. They, they were born the same year. And then he was like going through adolescence when grandpa died, but he's just like been around like it's such a weird and strange concept. That's such a very strange concept. Hmm. I saw this similar thing being discussed the other day. I can't remember where it was. Maybe like a comment thread somewhere? Where someone was like, you know, are we immortal in the eyes of dogs? Because when you think about it, even a long-lived dog isn't going to notice much of a difference in us at like 30 versus 40. And so, like, in their mind, is like, this is an, an immortal being that's chosen to spend this tiny little bit of its life with me. Sort of like elves and humans, I guess, to some extent. 
Uh, I mean, not that elves are real. I understand that fantasy elves aren't real. At least not in this plane of existence. What was it they needed again? I don't know. None of these things. A kernel reactor was mentioned, so I think that was one of them. I don't remember gold fire. Uh, glass fur and rock was one of them for sure. And then also, what is this? See, now we've given them too much. They have too much supplies. Chanel, look what we've got for you. Thank you very much. Now you leave the rest to me. And that's all nice and calibrated. Meh meh, second test start. Buddy blast of fire. How did it go? Oh ho, it's success! It looks like the output is a bit stronger now. Quite a few places are glowing. There's just one little tweak left to do, you know? Ah, uh, yes? Let's swap out the buddy blaster parts. I'm really sorry, but could you get me a threefold transistor and a bullet screen? What? are either of those things. I have no idea what a threefold transistor and a and a bullet screen would be. I mean, I, a bullet screen to me sounds like something you would put up at a firing range for people who want to watch, but don't want any stray bullets to like strike them in the face. I think what they wanted was a bullet transistor. We cannot make them a, a perp shine condenser or prehistoric conductor, but we can give them a tri-winter spring seed. Also, none none of this is actually what they asked for. I'm just throwing that out there at this point. Remember they... Ugh, dang it, we're going to over-deliver yet again. Oh, trifold transistor, but that's part of something else. I'm so confused. You know, we've got the stuff. Oh, thank you. You leave the rest to me. How many items have we invested in this ridiculous robot? And that should be that. Mime, third test start. Buddy Blaster Fire. Third time is the charm. And Okay. This looks more promising maybe. Are they doing like a little dance, a little choreographed dance? Yeah? It's friend with Doric! That means it worked, right? Mama, big success! Yes, yes, we did it! Just a little more work and you'll be perfect, Doric! You'll be a big, strong, kind Levness to protect everyone! Thank you all for your help so much! Anytime! Now, Doric! Construction move to phase 10. Only thing left is hard work for Papa and team for final adjustment. I'm quite invested now, dears, so I'd like to stay till the end if that's all right. That would be great! Rapapa make finish in time of blink. Looking forward to it. Yeah, have fun and good luck. And that's it. That's the quest completed. There's got to be like a part two, though. Doric is online. It's just that's no place to end it there. Doric is gone. He's died. No, he did actually just fade out of existence, though. But one is left to assume that if we have a look here. At oh. That can't be the end. It can't just... Like, I feel like, I mean, sure, the argument can be made that, well, it was a successful test. He's just got a couple more tweaks to make. Rapapa, tell me what's oh, going on here. For hmm. He's just here. He's I just hanging out. We to help. Now we get to kick back and enjoy the results. Finally, Master Levness Project of Doric complete. Unique special Levness, unique for uh, unique and special for both Agnes and Kevis. Creation of mighty Levness, all thanks to the liberation from Fame Clock. That allow everyone to cooperate on Levness creating. Meh, Rapapa overcome with emotion, tears making fluff clammy. That can't be it though. That's not. Oh, it's Widge Widge. Wh wh who's Widge? Gambit is real man of patience. Few able to endure mighty enthusiasm of Aldi. 
know much about workings of Levness. Too certainly none of bones are lazy. I, hope everyone's getting along. I wish I could say the same. But like that's not a satisfying like ah and it's done. Ritz, where are you going? Where are you going right now? Where are you trying to get to? You're not gonna get anywhere at this pace. Ritz, buddy. What the Dopan is saying the commander's trying to find a way to make Otto Levs listen to us. He's got a whole different way of thinking, that guy. If we if we kick Valdi out of our party real quick, do we reckon that would do it? I mean, who do we, who do we want to pursue next anyway for Ascension? So we've got Ashara. Uh, oh, we've already done that one, and we've also got. Who are you? I actually have no idea who this is. Fiona? Where are you from? I know who Fiona is. I guess we'll do Ashara. My life We're just gonna go in life. order here, right? Because all of these eight up here are complete. Now after we do her, we then move to her. And then him, and then okay, all those are completed. That's done. All of these are completed. Oh, really? Okay. All right. So going through here, I thought we had a lot more than we do. We've only got three left to ascend. We're starting to run out of quests. We're starting to run out of game. Well, right. Oh, we've got her in the party now. And real quick, while we've got everyone here, how are we doing in terms of everyone's classes? So you are about to max out Heavy Guard. Good. Okay, so Valdi has been kicked out of the party and is now just kind of walking around here. And he says, Doric is almost complete. I can hardly wait for the final result. Yeah. We're... <laughs> I thought that was the Nopon talking for a second. We're on the final stretch now. Okay, but it's not actually finished yet, then. I'm so deeply confused. It's finally going to be complete soon. Is there, like... There's no conversations to be had around here. Are there any, like, things... When, you know, like, sometimes someone will have a bubble above their head you need to inspect? Maybe something like that? Because I'm getting mixed results. Some are saying that he's done. Some are saying he'll be done soon. I feel like if he was actually done, we would have had a real celebratory, you know, not like, oh, a couple more, th okay, he works, but a couple more things will be perfect. Like, no, no, no. The end of Doric's quest is, Doric is finished and it's amazing. I need to see that. I need to be given that. Why am I not being given that? I feel, is this like, is there anything to snack on? looky here. Meh. Finishing touches on Doric about to be applied. Oh, ho. Congrats on a job well done. Looking forward to the grand reveal. Doric complete. New topic available. There we go. Should we boot Ashara out of the party? Well, I'll tell you what. If it's necessary to have uh, what's-his-face in the party. I know. I've just spent all day with him, and I've already forgotten his name. Valdi. It'll make we us put Valdi in the party. Or he'll... Like, will it automatically put him in there, or will he just be here for the conversation? Valdi, mate! You look like the Ferris's god... You look like the fairest got. You look like the fairest that got the cream. <laughs> That's because Doric is finally complete. What? Only just. I'm so pleased for you. Yep. Repop is going to orchestrate the grand unveiling. He's truly chuffed. You're gonna be there too, right? You help so much salvaging materials. Yeah, sure. Nice, okay. He said the unveiling would take place in the Terra Wastelands. Why not right here where he was built? We'll be there. Can't wait to see Doric strutting his stuff at last. Yeah, I'm actually... I mean, it's weird that this is not the Ascension quest for Valdi. But at the same time, it's kind of nice that you got him Ascended first and you just have Ascended Valdi and you're doing quests with him still. Because for a lot of characters, okay. it feels like... ladies and gents. We're leaving. Once they're ascended, like, your time with them is basically done. You know what I mean? Also, can we hop into characters? And, uh, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and swap her back out for... Can we actually swap her out for Valdi on this screen? I think we've already determined that we absolutely can. Where, uh, where's Valdi? Where is, where is he? He's right in front of me. I know he is. We'll that's, sure. that's not I'm Valdi. There we go. Okay. It just feels right to have Valdi here for this. And then are we actually tracking the quest? No, we're not. Probably because Valdi wasn't in the party. And there we go. And the recommended level is 68. So 
we're probably going to need to stop by on our way to get ourselves leveled up a little bit. So yeah, right back down here again is apparently where we're going for this. I don't know why that's the place to be for this sort of a situation, but uh, the only place I know of where we can level up in that vicinity is going to be at uh, the Lynn Nedweer camp. So we'll head back there. We'll get ourselves up a little bit. What was it? like? Was it, was it actually six? Wait, what did I just say? Did I say 68? Or was that my imagination? Let's see. 68. Uh, maybe 60 will do it? And then some of you might be wondering, is the plan still to get everyone ascended and then that's the end of the series? You know I've had struggles in the past letting go of this game. You know that's been an issue for me. And now you come to me and you ask, well, geez, Reese, is, it gonna, is that going to be it? Is it going to be done when you get ever... Listen. I don't know. <laughs> Because, I mean, what if I do want to get everyone leveled up to 99? I kind of do. And then maybe I want to get everyone's classes maxed out? <sighs> I definitely feel stronger. I don't know. Maybe I want to do all the side quests, not just all the ascension quests. Actually, yeah. I'll go ahead and say that then. We're get, we're, our focus right now is getting time, everyone then. ascended. Because that helps us with our secondary goal. Which is going to become our primary goal here in a moment after we finish ascending everyone and that goal is to get all of the side quests completed literally all of them we're going to do all of the side quests and only then do we carry on carry on what are we going to do after this i don't know i've had i've had this game for a year now I, the idea of not playing it anymore has not crossed my mind it's just been a constantly running series in the background which is when you think about it kind of a little bit funny that it's not the most popular series on the channel. Although it does actually have a pretty sizable following of, I assume, the same people tuning in every time because it's about the same view count every time. That's an alarm on my phone telling me to go turn off the water sprinklers. We've got a bit of a, a, bit of a drought going on here. Now, if you've followed me for any amount of time, I'm sure we've had this conversation on this channel in this series last summer. I don't care about my grass. I don't care about grass looking nice. The purpose of grass is to protect your like soil from harsh UV radiation. I don't care about keeping it trimmed and beautiful and green and it's mostly weeds. What I care about is my trees and I don't want to lose any more trees. I already lost two. One, because it lost a lot of its roots when the county did some work, pulling up uh, a bunch of old pipe. Did, he, did Dordic get a paint job? Look at the fella, geez, he looks different. And then the other one, pine beetles. I don't want to lose any more trees, so I am soaking the ground. It was funny today, though. Awesome or what? Actually, yeah, he does look Whoa! awesome. That white thing is Doric. He does look incredible. I made the decision. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, not the decision. I walked outside today, and I, I walked outside into the sun, and I was like, "Feels good outside today." So. <laughs> It was 96 degrees freedom units. I Hold on. 96 degrees F in Celsius. So 35.6. <laughs> it was 45% humidity. But it has been so bad in terms of heat and humidity that when I walked out the door today and I was like, 96 degrees, 45% humidity. I didn't know that in my head. I just walked outside and I was like, oh, it feels lovely outside. This is actually great. And then I found <laughs> how miserably like hot it actually was. So that was a good time. Uh, so what are we going to do here? We're going to go <laughs> engage with this. But it was, it was an improvement over what it normally is. Oh my gosh, look at all the people! Everyone's come together for this, this is beautiful! Here I am! Valdi! Start is soon! Yep! Good luck, Mecha friend! Thanks to everyone's hard work, 
Doric is complete at last. I want to thank you all for everything you've done. And I'm chuffed at how many friends have made along the way. I hope Doric can make just as many. Let's see how he does, shall we? Yes! Buddy Blaster ready! And fire! Everyone else is going to freak out like, Excuse me, are you taking over all of our lovenesses? Is this some sort of act of aggression? You could take our workforce from us, our defense. War with Colony 30! There's a whole subplot in this game that no one knew about. That is just, now you have to defend Colony 30 from everyone else attacking them. How cool would that be? Wow! I think it worked! Doric? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Gah! Watch out! Did someone tamper with the programming? But how? It's a good thing they have terrible aim. Otherwise, this would be a real situation. Is Doric out of control? Everyone, evacuate! This is actually really embarrassing for Colony 30. Mecha friend? Mecha friend, what's going on? How could this happen? Everyone here was a friend. Mecha friend, stop! Go ho 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 ho! Finally, this day come. I don't know who this is. You! Oh my gosh, it's Valdi! No, sorry, uh, that's Valdi saying, Oh my gosh, it's Pill Pooly Pooly! Pooly Pooly's the one that betrayed us earlier, isn't he? Because he wanted to destroy... Oh, whatever. <laughs> it's not matter now what you say. Mecha friend is not friend of friend anymore. I told you this guy was going to betray us again. Maybe, I don't remember. It's been months. Meh, meh, meh. What you done to Mecha friend? Pooly Pooly only makes small adjustment to system. Now is Pooly Pooly friend. Genius of Pooly Pooly is capable of do anything. Pooly Pooly defeats you and bring joy to Alexandria. He's still a simp. He's still after it. Pooly Pooly pulls string behind scene to plan this for a long time. He hadn't given up on his lunacy after all. Pretty sure Alexandria's never asked for any of this. You lot cast Pooly Pooly aside and become such good, good friends of Alexandria. Even though Pooly Pooly works so hard, Pooly Pooly not let you get away with this. Only Pooly Pooly allowed to be friend of Alexandria. I don't want to fight the Big Mecca friend. This make me sad. I don't want to fight Doric. Oh wow, he talks. Oh my gosh, Mio. I didn't realize these other two were also involved in the fight, I'll confess. Maybe we should focus our attentions on them. This is a very similar fight to one we had before. Lands back up. This is uh, this is a bit brutal. Maybe 60 was a bridge too low. Nobody panic. Everything's gonna be fine. We're doing really, really good. Everything's good. There's a, there's a third. Wait. What? Okay, I'm down now. Maybe maybe now is a good time to panic. There's no shot we're gonna be able to win this if what we're doing is constantly just like running back and forth, rezzing people. We're close to being able to do a panic. Oh no, it's just Uni up now. Okay, no good. Tyon's up now too. Just get me up. We're almost ready to do a panic. Uh, who's alive? Oh, I hit the button before I made sure everyone was rest. Who do we have? Oh, okay. All right. We can work with this. We can work with this. Well, we got one killed. I, I, you know what? If we focus on, like, AoEs... It's possible that we might be able to damage some of the others here. I mean, look, fact of the matter is, what happens after this is I'm going to have to go and, like, immediately... I'm the only one who has the power to res anyone left. So as soon as this is done, I'm going to have to go run around and try to get up another healer. Well, not another healer. A healer, because I'm not a healer. I just happen to be able to res people because I've got that memory locket or what. I think it's... Yeah, memory locket, I think is what it actually is. 
So this thing is good and defeated. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Shockingly, we did a lot of damage there. Get me over here, and I'm down. Might as well just get on my phone and wait for everyone to die. Call me crazy, but I kind of want to try again. And I kind of want to change nothing. And I kind of want to see if we can do it. If right from the beginning, I'm aware that these guys are over here. And um, we focus on this guy. I don't even know if I understand what happened there. What was that? <laughs> what? Okay, hold on. Focus on this guy. And we actually... Hello? Hello? There we go. We're just, like, not, not in combat. Why am I dead? What is going on? Come on, everyone. We're focusing on this one guy. We can do this. Now that I think about it, we probably should have changed someone else's class. Because I just realized we have, like, three healers. And maybe, actually, you know what? This idea of trying to do it at this lower level is, is not... Reasonable. Maybe let's not retry the battle. Yeah, I don't play my Switch so much anymore. <laughs> Remember that dropped thread from a previous installment? I, I... It's sort of a complex issue. So, when I got my Switch, it was 2017. At that point, I'd had my 3DS for... Maybe about nine months, and I just started taking it to work. And that really revolutionized the way I spent my work day. Because when I'm working, I'm working. But when I'm not working, I tend to just be sitting in the passenger seat. Or, like, sitting down somewhere. It's downtime. There's nothing to do. And I'm just like, I'm bored out of my mind. What do I What do? I do? Just nothing. I did nothing. And back then, man, let me tell you, 2016, 2017, uh, mobile data caps were different back then. I couldn't just be watching YouTube videos and expanding my knowledge base. So I either read, which I did quite a bit of. Or, you know, I finally got a 3DS and I'd been playing a lot. Getting the Switch changed that a lot because the Switch had a lot more of, like, new games and, and like, actual, like, home console quality games. And it definitely changed that sort of dynamic. I started playing the Switch a ton. An absolute ton. And then I started in 2022... I guess let's go. Can we fight these things one at a time? Is that possible? Wait a minute. Hold on. Is this working? If I'd realized I could fight them one at a time, well, darn it. No, now they're all involved. But if I could have, like, tricked it to coming closer to me, if I had known that, we probably could have actually done this at a lower level. We definitely didn't need to go through all of this effort. If we could have just, like, I didn't even think to throw rocks at it and draw it away from the others. No, come on, stay focused. Inferno. Obviously, it's going to be a, a cakewalk now. Because we're all level 65. But still, I, that's unfortunate. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, so from 2017 to 2022, that I, I anything, I used to say, like, my choice of what to play games on was Switch first. Like, even though I was a, a, a PC gamer, I wanted to, I, I would prefer to get games, multi-platform games, on Switch. And the reason was because I could take it with me. You know, a Switch games can come with me. I, I can take them to work and stuff. It didn't matter that they looked better and ran better on my PC. What matters is that I could take... I mean, I played streams through the entirety of... Uh, what was that game even called? Uh, Outer Worlds. I didn't get it on PC because I didn't want to get it on the Epic Launcher. I now own it on Steam because it's out on Steam. But I played through the entirety of that game on stream, and then I played through it again entirely... Oh, on the Xbox, I should say. And then when the Switch version came out, I picked that up, and I actually 100%ed it on the Switch. And you know what? It didn't look as good and didn't run as well, but I could take it with me. And that was the thing that actually mattered to me, was I could just pick it up and, and take it anywhere. I could take it to work and then just play it in my downtime. So that... So for, you know, 2017 to 2022, it was like, okay... If it's on Switch, I'll get it on Switch. If it's not on Switch, I'll get it on PC. And if it's only on console, I'd prefer it on Xbox, because I had the One X, and that was better than the PS4 Pro. It would look visually better. That's changed entirely now. You know, if it's available, I'll get it on PC. And the reason is, I have a Steam Deck. 
And now, if I can play it on the Steam Deck and then also play it on my gaming PC when I get home, that's kind of way better. That's like, that's much preferred. Because with the Switch, you're just kind of always stuck on Switch. So anything I've played recently, I've been playing through a lot of, like Hogwarts Legacy, it's coming out on Switch eventually. But I already beat it on my PC and I can play it on my deck anytime I want to, and I did pay it a bit on the deck. Um, what is I, that? That's weird because I don't remember having that game or the deck back when that game came out. That game came out in what November of lot. When did that game come out? How long has that game been out? Oh my gosh, is that game almost a year old? Ew. Anyway, I now mostly edit at work because it's way more convenient than doing it at home when I can be doing other things at home. I just take my laptop. And I edit at work, and when I play games on the go, I play them on the deck. And I, I just, a lot of people are talking about a Switch 2. And I can't help but think that if a Switch 2 comes out, I'll get it for the channel. But I don't really care. The only thing I'm going to be buying out of Nintendo games. So, there was a time when I was like, nah, I don't know if I really want Nintendo to be a third-party publisher. Because I kind of like what they do with their consoles, and they have unique ideas, and... Yeah, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of into the idea of Nintendo becoming. <laughs> and they're not going to. They're not going to do this. But I kind of would prefer them to just become a third-party publisher. I would much rather play Mario Wonder on my Steam Deck, you know, I officially, not with like emulation, and then also have it on my PC. I might have the answer. So I'm kind of in the same position with them that I was in with Sony, because I don't buy games on Xbox anymore. Because everything that comes out on Xbox comes out day and date on PC. So there's no reason for me to buy games on Xbox. So now I just buy games on the PlayStation if they're console only. Uh, which means if they're console only, then they're specifically only like uh, like uh, the PlayStation exclusives. Because no one's releasing anything exclusive to P uh, PlayStation and Xbox, but not also putting it on the PC. It just doesn't happen. But now Sony puts their games on PC too. Now granted, after a while, I wasn't going to wait to get Final Fantasy 16 on PC. It'll come out on PC. But when I can go ahead and get it on... What do you do? When Chosen increases TP... Uh, if the, it is a machine type. Oh. Oh, anyway. You know, for Final Fantasy, I'm not going to wait. But for other games? Yeah, I'll wait. Oh, Valdi doesn't count as a... Whatever. I'll wait, I'll wait on most games that Sony have to come out on PC, and then I can also play them on my deck. And now so many companies are coming out and going out of their way to make their games compatible on deck. I remember when the uh, Crisis Core Remaster got announced, and they were like, oh, and by the way, specific, explicit support of the Steam Deck. Which you don't have to do. You don't have to explicitly announce support for it, because it'll probably run anyway. That's the thing I've learned, is that most things I want to play on the Steam Deck just work on the Steam Deck. This is the worst chain attack. I've not paid attention to anything that I have done this entire time. Good gosh, do a daze. Yeah, we're not going to be dealing a lot of damage this time, just because I was not paying attention to any of my options available to me. Do I do I have a burst? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, folks. This has been a poor performance on my part. But they went out of their way to say it's, you know, going to be super supportive. And it was. It ran flawlessly, with all the settings maxed out, and at the native resolution of the screen. So, I don't know. I feel like that's just the future. Why have... I mean, this is just cool that you can dock it, but... If I buy a PC game, I'll always have that, you know? How, how's that Wii U store going? How long do you think the Switch eShop's gonna last? You know what I mean? It's just like, Steam will be with us always. <laughs> it kind of feels like. All right. I'm just rambling now, I'm gonna shut up. Oh, we could have ended him if I'd been paying attention. Look how much damage we dealt. Good gosh. We could have ended him if I'd actually been paying attention instead of yammering about the Steam Deck and the Nintendo Switch and the unconfirmed Switch 2. I mean, there will be a Switch 2. There will eventually... I don't understand the constant, like, media hype about a Switch that's not been announced yet. That's so weird to me. Like, just be patient. It comes out when it comes out, and do you really care? Does anyone really care? Is anyone really itching to go... Also, is everyone down right now? Wait, what happened? What actually happened? Oh, we're cooked! I don't know what to do about this. I can't do anything about this. I can res people, but like, I'm not gonna be able to res anyone. Okay, you know what? We're gonna, we're not gonna panic. Who am I on top of right now, Noah? That's not gonna work. Okay, cancel. Who are you? Please be someone good. You gotta keep him busy, Lance. Keep him busy. 
I'm getting uni up. Lambs, don't you die. I think this is Tyon right here. It could be. It could be Tyon. I'm not sure. Okay, Uni, once you're done resing them, if a, a heal would be nice. Heal Lance. And then where's Valdi? Has anyone... Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Oh, that could have killed us all, but it didn't. Thank goodness. How are we doing? How are we doing? Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Is everybody up yet? We cannot panic into anything right now. We can't panic. I mean, I guess we could... We could technically panic into... Another inner link if it comes down to it. What? How did that hit me? You weren't even aiming at me. It's ridiculous. Somebody res me. Can we not all cluster up together? Hello? That's a terrible idea. Oh, well, it's me and you, Yumi. If, if things get, like, dicey, at least you're here to res me. They're all about to die, because they're all just stood there in front of these giant lasers. Yeah, I guess this is what's happening. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just a little bit more damage. Yeah, panic into it. Is he going to finish that animation and actually knock someone out before this starts? Because, my gosh, that would not shock me if that happened. It would upset me. It wouldn't shock me. Are you kidding me? Wait, did I miscount something? That, that should have ended with the... What did I... <laughs> I'm confuddled. Deeply so. Nah! Valdi! <laughs> what in the... Valdi! Like a friend. Are you okay? I think Megafriend protected him from the worst of the blast. But Megafriend doesn't look too good. Doric also entirely broken. Mm hmm. Oh. You you helped me so many times, Megafriend. So I I I won't let it end like this. We'll give you a hand with Doric too. Lands, we'll help too, Commander. Yeah, if we leave it to you, I'm sure it's just a matter of time before everything gets out of hand. Thanks, guys. What about this little pig widgeon? Yeah, you better run, pal. And just where do you think you're going? Meh, Alexandria! Isn't there someone you have something to say to? Yeah, you owe Valdi an apology. I mean, I feel like that's letting him a little bit off the hook there if we're going to say he just needs to apologize. Meh, meh, meh! Pully, pully, refuse! Pully, pully, try and try, but it not go right! Alexandria only like Valdi and others! Pully, pully, wish, pully, pully, just disappear! Meh, meh, meh! I mean, we can make that happen. I know a lot of uh, deep drops with sudden stops that we could send you down. Hey, pully, pully! You aren't hurt, are you? Meh? You only wanted to be friends with everyone, didn't you? Valdi, buddy. But you can't do that that way. Someone could get hurt. The music is on point for this. What Valdi know? Pully Pully is nobody. That's why nobody take notice of Pully Pully if Pully Pully not work hard. I took notice. Meh? I mean, your methods are not particularly great. But you're pretty good with eleveness. You're not a nobody. You're valuable. You're just your own worst enemy. Meh! Nah, but Pooly Pooly do only failures. Valdi not angry. I mess things up all the time. Look at what happened this time. And I've broke Megafriend more times than I can count. But you know, failures always come with an afterwards. I got to build Doric. I got to make a lot of friends. I can do a lot more than I could before, thanks to everyone's help. That's all connected to what's happened now. Failure teaches you things. So I don't want you to give up, Pooly Pooly. Waldi. Let's try again. I want to build a world where every people and Levenesses can live in harmony. But it'll take a long time if I try to do it alone. 
It'd be a lot easier if you'd help me out. Would you? <laughs> Good. There's still plenty more I can do. And with the rest of you helping, we can aim even higher. Okay, first order of business is fixing up Mecha Friend. Time to pick up all those parts, people. Is this going to be a second series of quests? Or are we just going to cut to like six months later and Mecha Friend has been put back together? The final cog. I hope everyone's getting along. Got some rank ups around here, I see. So valuable here. What is this? this is valuable. Wait, what was I'll that? Funny finding one here. Oh, a Troidal Origin Shard. Naturally. Okay, well, if you have a look at the area map, there should be nothing around here. But what about back at the actual... I mean... <laughs> I refuse to let it just end like this. You gotta give me Mecha Friend. I need completed Mecha Friend, and he's done, and it's perfect. Are we not gonna get that? Really? Ritz, what's the story here, Ritz? Listen, keep this between you and me, but... After we settled on Dorex Reconstruction, Yuzette started to pitch in with the material collection. Oh, so Yuzette was helping. He's really thoughtful and great at what he does, even though we're about the same age. He's a really put-together person. I hope I can be more like him. I hope everyone's getting along. What's that got to do with repairing Mecha Friend? <laughs> what has any of that got to do with repairing Mecha Friend? I need to know about this, Witch Witch. What's the situation? Also, where where is the evil Nobot? I mean, I say evil Nobot, but no, where, where is he though? Because I'm not finished with him yet. I'd like to have like a, a word, just a word. Oh, look at this! Mecha Friend's back. You and Pooly Pooly are getting are really getting on well, huh, Mecha Friend? I'm glad. Yeah. If you're getting jealous, maybe I'll fix you up so you can come with us next time. Meh, meh, meh. Pully Pully can do it. Pully Pully will make mighty contribution to Colony 30. Is he, like, somehow powering the, the colony right now? With this thing? Because that's sort of fantastic if that's what's happening. There's no more discussion topics to be had around here, though. I mean, there's plenty of people I can go talk to. But there's no one who's got, like, a, a conversation they're having about. No little yellow bubbles. I guess that probably calls it here for now, then. Till next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you. I'll see you later. Goodbye!